Hi and welcome to the New Song Cafe here at worshiptogether.com. I'm Steve McPherson from Hillsong Music and we're here in the Hillsong Chapel in Sydney, Australia talking to Reuben Morgan and Ben Fielding regarding the title track of the new Hillsong album, God is Able. Well, welcome guys, Reuben, Ben, it's good to have you guys Steve, with us. Thank you. Uh, so today we're talking about God is Able. Uh, it's a title track of the new Hillsong album. Talk us about the writing of this song. You guys have written a lot together, great songs. What was different about this one? Yeah, well, I just want to start with saying it's always a pleasure to write with Reuben. Um, <laughs> Good. You got that note, obviously. Yeah, yeah. And um, but we started off with this song, and, and the unique thing about it is that we um, we were talking about the scripture God is able from Ephesians three twenty, and and we read it together, and we're kind of like let's let's write a song on this, and so we kind of we really anchored the whole song around that scripture, and um, it doesn't actually like none of the lyrics really depart too far from that. Um, and then, so we kind of just went back and forth. We had this this idea of um, God is able, our God is able. I think I still remember the first idea that was kind of like, um, um, something like, our God is able, our God is able. It was kind of like a little bit different to where it landed, but um, that thought was what we wanted to get yeah. in the song. Yeah. You know, and yeah, I don't know. I'm passionate about mm. singing the word of God, you know, and the church mm. singing the word of God. And really, because there's, that's where the power is. It's not in necessarily in the melodies or the music so much as it's just in the confession of, you know, the word of God and in faith, you know. So being able to put that in a song like this and, you know, a real victory song and use the, the death, re death and resurrection of Jesus mm. to talk about how God is able and how God's mm. able to come through in our lives. I, it's just a really good thing to sing about. Mm -hmm. So we did everything we could just to kind of make that singable and and a way that we could just kind of keep confessing it. Yeah, that's awesome. Was it a, a laboured process on this song or did it come? Oh, it definitely took time. And I think because we're really passionate about the theme, yeah. so we wanted every part of it, every word, you know, it was just one of those songs we just wanted every piece to fit right and to be accessible. And, you know, when you're writing around a theme, it could get uh, it could get hard to sing or labour just because it's all about you know the theme or the word of God. So the the trick, not the trick with this, but the the intent with this was to make it real singable and really um, that way, as well as just full on being the word of God mm, yeah. and about that scripture, being true to the scripture. Yeah, it's definitely a singable song, and I think sometimes as worshippers you can hear a song and it's so easy to sing and you think oh, it must have been easy to write but often that's not the case is it? Yeah it's often the other way you know yeah. almost the simpler a song is the more time it takes to that's actually right. make the song kind of work yeah. make it still interesting enough to kind of grab grab the attention of people so mm. yeah. yeah that's great well guys let's let's have a listen to the song hey sure so we're um we're gonna we're gonna do it in a um we've been singing it a lot in church in b but um but for this kind of setting is probably worth taking it down a tone and yeah. make it a bit easier to kind of translate right. Nice. Yeah.
get to get your solo in at the end there. That yeah, was I good. needed a little bit. Well bit. done, yeah. well done. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, I've, as you're playing, I was thinking, man, I've probably sung this song hundreds of times in different meetings, small meetings, big meetings in church, you know, and, and every time I've not seen it impact people. It, 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 I've, every time people respond to it, they just sing it, they lift their hands, mm. they're just, you know, abandoning themselves to this song. So tell, mm. us, tell us about how you approach this song as worship leaders right. when, you're, when you're leading this song. Yeah, well, I mean, it's nice to have a song that you feel like you, you could just lead out with an acoustic guitar and whether the band plays or not. Mm. It um it's it sits okay, mm. um, yeah. So I mean, it, depending on what the meeting demands. I mean, um, there's been meetings where we've, I've just you sort of cut the band and you just bring it in mm. and just God is able. The verse almost sings like a chorus, so it's kind of nice to just even launch in that way. And mm. yeah, it depends. I mean, we've done it. Yeah, we've done it as like the first song in a service, you know, and because it's, it's it's quite up and mm. you can. You know, you can get the band right in at the top and, um, and it works sort of as a first song in the service. But at the same time, you know, we've used it like at the end of a service too. So it's got, kind of got that statement of faith that um, once, you know, the momentum of the service is already built, you can still kind of bring it, yeah. um, bring it home with, with the song. And I think, you know, like Ruth says, you know, it's just the, it's the confession of the song that um, is, so, um, is so full of faith that, yeah. um, it, you know, it grabs people and you can, you can start it flat you can start it up and it, and it works mm. Mm. yeah that's great great song guys well done thanks for being with us today really appreciate it cheers